GMO time, baby! Kind of excited because we've waited two years to play a WWE game. And uh, kind of nervous because of how much this GM mode is supposed to suck. But we're about to find mm. out the only way we can find out is by playing the GM mode. It is episode one, guys. I don't know who I'm picking. I don't know what brand I'm picking. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got the controller in my hand. I'm hoping for the best. You can have 10 slots. You can have 10 different GM modes for now. But we'll just settle on one. Here we can see the fireworks going off. Our road to wrestle GM mania is beginning. There's Stephanie McMahon giving us the rundown, basically, of what can happen. And I'll tell you what can happen. Play this in your video and it could get banned. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this right here. Here we get to the choose your GM roster. GM, pick your GM, essentially. So you've got Adam Pearce. He's got the instigator. Whatever that means. Sonya Deville, a superstar's GM. William Regal, a legend whisperer. We've got Shane McMahon, coast to coast. And we've got Stephanie McMahon, the McMahon presence. Give me some of that McMahon presence. So, uh, yeah, we could maybe choose Stephanie McMahon. But I think, for now, we will try and keep things tight. We'll try and keep things legit. I will choose between Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville. And since I think Adam Pearce is the worst thing to ever happen in wrestling wearing a suit, I'm going to go with Sonya Deville. Plus, I think she's kind of attractive, minus the Triple H nose. So, yeah, for that reason, I'm going to pick Sonya Deville. Boom. Uh, she has the superstar GM trait. Uh, raised the entire roster's morale by 15. Well, that's pretty good. 15 plus. So, we all know the show sucks, but thankfully, the, everyone's morale is getting boosted here by 15. Thanks to Sonya Deville. So let's go ahead and select her. Now we need to select our brand. Honestly, I'm I'm always been a Raw guy. So I've always gravitated towards Raw. But because Raw is sucking so bad, that gives me an extra reason now to pick Raw. We know in real life Raw is bad. Let's see if we can take over Raw and if we can beat SmackDown. Because at the moment, SmackDown is the far superior show in real life. So we're going to go Raw and see. It's going to be like a bit of a road to glory with Raw. A road to return to greatness with Raw. So let's go, let's select Monday Night Raw. Um, you can see here, they've got the This Is War trait. Three randomly selected superstars on the opposing brand cannot be booked in matches next week. Cannot be used in the week before a pay-per-view. All right, okay. Seems like a pretty good advantage to have. Randomly, so we cannot, obviously we cannot pick who, but it will pick it for us. So boom, we'll select that. And here we go, opponent type AI. Uh, I say their opponent is going to be Adam Pearce. I want to beat Adam Pearce. Scrap peep, we'll send them to the scrap yard. Uh, we're going to have Smackdown, obviously he'll be on Smackdown. AI, difficulty will be hard, that's hard as you can do. Duration will be the longest, 50 weeks. Draft pool, default, and draft settings, we're going to put it on manual. So we're about to start the draft, guys. That is bad news regarding the draft. I've covered it in an earlier video, but you cannot select the entire roster. It only gives you like half the roster to pick and choose from. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. It's not a good idea. It is a terrible idea, but we can't change it. That's how it was designed. So we're just going to have to go with it. So here is the draft rules, the WWE draft. Each GM will start with a budget of $2.75,000, which is $275 million, in case you Doing the no maths. GMs will take turns drafting one after the other, starting with player one, which is, I believe, is me. But I don't know. It could be Adam Pearce. There will be eight rounds of drafting. After the eighth round, drafting becomes optional. GMs can opt out or draft until they are out of cash. Tip. GMs can press the RS button to get recommendations on who to draft. You can also use the X to get more information about a superstar. Well... We don't need recommendations. We can draft our own roster, so we are not going to be using that tip. But here, thank you very much for the advice. Let's go. Let's get into this draft. Draw. Oh my God! Right, who do we go with then? So I'm looking at the names here. It appears Brock Lesnar is the highest in terms of cost. He comes in at two hundred and seventy-five thousand uh, dollars. Then you got John Cena, Becky Lynch. You can go down here and you can see quite a. Quite a lot of people are missing, but they've also got oh, there's quite a lot of people on this actually. So most of the big stars appear to be available here. I've noticed there's no Bobby Lashley though, which kind of sucks because I like Bobby, big Bobby, big Bobby Lashley. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to work around that, and we'll just have to pick the best roster that we can. So 
Monday Night Raw. We want to get Raw back to being the best brand. And I think to do that, we need to pick the best guy in WWE. We need to pick the current Raw champion. I'm going with Brock Lesnar. So there you go. Brock Lesnar is officially on Raw. And SmackDown select John Cena. SmackDown select Big Man John. Big Match John. Not a bad pick. In fact, it's a fucking very good pick. And I was contemplating picking Big Match John first myself. So I am a bit annoyed with that because Big Match John was probably going to be my number one pick if it wasn't for Brock Lesnar. So yeah, yeah. I've no complaints. Those two going first and second. You obviously you can't really you can't have complaints, man. Come on. Uh, right, here we go. Round two in the draft. Ah, uh, who do we want to be on Raw? There's a lot of people we want to be on Raw, but I want to make sure that I get a good Raw Women's Champion. Becky Lynch is, in terms of women, she is pretty popular. Do I go with Becky Lynch? Or do I select? I've got the chance to, I've got the option of going Roman Reigns. For me, it's between Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns. Becky Lynch is actually a bit more expensive than Roman Reigns. But Becky Lynch is the current Raw Women's Champion. I've already got the current Raw World Champion. So I think for that reason, I'm going to go Becky Lynch. I wanted to go Roman Reigns, but fuck it, we'll go Becky Lynch. We'll see who SmackDown pick. And SmackDown pick Roderick Strong. What a weird, weird pick from SmackDown. And it's back to us. So here we go. We've got the option. Do we want Roman Reigns? We can have him. If we want Roman Reigns, we can have Roman Reigns. I'm looking here through the options. I kind of like Seth Rollins, but I am looking at Roman Reigns. I'm thinking that Roman Reigns would be a good pick. But I'm not going to go Roman Reigns just yet. We need to conserve our money. We don't have a lot of money. You want to make sure that you have a decent amount left. So, with that said, who am I going to go with? Who am I going to go with? I'm going to go with... I don't know. I mean, <laughs> who am I going to go with? We'll go with... Let me see here. I'm going to go with... Seth Rollins. Yes. Going to go with Seth Rollins. Boom. Seth Rollins number three. Smackdown pick Asuka. So Roman Reigns is still available. If anybody wants Roman, he's sitting at a big hefty 267,000 cost. But if you want Romans, he is there. I am not going to go with Romans. I am going to go with my favourite female women's wrestler. I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss in round four. And Smackdown pick Mandy Rose. Interesting. I really cannot believe that uh, they didn't go with Roman Reigns. I feel like Roman Reigns has probably been disrespected here that no one is picking him. Um, yeah, you feel like he is probably the right choice, but no one's going with for some reason. Up next on Raw, I am going to pick at 214,000. I think this is a steal. I'm going to pick Randy Orton. Smackdown go Finn Balor. So, Smackdown go Finn Balor on round five. Now, there's one more person I want to pick here, and then I am pretty much just going to go with the top popularities. So, like, I'm looking at Roman Reigns, I mean, the, the guy is hes a very solid pick, I feel like I should take him. But I also want Sasha Banks, and I feel like if I don't take Sasha Banks, I feel like SmackDown might take her in the next pick. So I am going to take Sasha Banks here, and then I will I'll consider who I'm taking after that. SmackDown going with Tucker, really? What the fuck is SmackDown doing? <laughs> what the hell? I feel like if I take Roman Reigns, I'm getting a shaft in SmackDown, but... What? So we need... What do we need here? I feel like I should go Roman Reigns, but I kind of don't want to. <sighs> who else is there? I mean, who else is there? I'm going to go Sami Zayn. Boom. Sami Zayn's my number seven draft pick. SmackDown go Jey Uso. Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice there. Um, I just don't want to go Roman Reigns. I feel like our, our roster's a bit stacked at the top. I feel like we don't need a big, another big heavyweight. So I'm going to avoid picking Reigns. I'm going to try and save a bit of money. We've just got over a million pounds now, so we need to look at maybe 
lower guys here that don't cost as much. And my next pick is going to be... Who can I pick? Who can I pick? My next pick... I'm looking through them. I'm looking for someone to stand out. Someone coming... Oh my god, there's not that many. So the options are limited. Smackdown have definitely saved more money than we have. <laughs> Tell you what, our money has went down the, the drain here. We're going to pick... You know what, I kind of like Austin Fury. I'm going to pick Austin Fury at number 8. And smack down pick Mace. Okay. Great picks out there. You've now entered the optional rounds. You now have the option to stop drafting. Complete your draft if you want to save some money. No, I'm going to keep on going. It's my call. I'm going to keep on going. Up next, I am going to draft... Who am I going to draft next, guys? Who am I going to draft next? I am going to pick... I'm looking, I'm waiting for someone to stand out. I'm thinking maybe Damien Priest still. But I think we'll avoid him for now. I'm looking for an option. I'm looking for someone to basically yell out, pick me. Who am I picking? Who am I picking? I'm going to go with... God, we're, we're running out here. We've already checked them all. The rest of the names don't look that good, actually. We're going to... Fuck it, I'll go Liv Morgan. Round nine. Smackdown take Nikki Ash. Okay, we've got 749,000 left. I'm going to try and avoid picking any of the top people here because, like I said, we do not have that much money. And I am going to pick. I am going to pick. Who am I picking? Don't hinder the gender. I'm picking Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, round 10. Smackdown picks Shayna Baszler. All right, okay, interesting. Smackdown picks aren't exactly the best. Not that mines are great. But, uh, yeah, I don't think the Smackdown picks are that good, to be fair. We're going to pick up next. It's going to be... Did I go with Damien Priest? I don't have much money left. Damien Priest... Maybe Damien Priest. I'll go with Damien Priest. Boom. Round 11. I'm picking Damien Priest. Smackdown select. Alexander Wolf. Okie dokie. Not that I, I don't think he would have been my choice. But Smackdown have picked him. Who am I selecting next? Let me see. Who am I selecting next? Who am I selecting next? Well, let's, let's have a quick look at the roster. We've got Bro let's look at the men first. We've got... We've got Brock, we've got Seth Rollins, we've got Randy Orton, we've got Sami Zayn, Damian Priest, and Austin, Austin Fury, Jinder Mahal. Mm, I kind of would like a big guy to go up against Brock. I could perhaps pick a Strowman or a Keith Lee, or I, even though I don't like Keith Lee, there's Walter as well. Walter's a possibility. I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking maybe Keith Lee here, to be fair. I might pick Keith Lee. But I might not. <laughs> I might not. We could pick Big E. We could pick... Who could we pick here? There's Kofi Kingston, but I don't really want him. Fuck it. We're going to go... Keith Lee takes a hell of a lot of the budget away, though. That's the only thing. I might pick Samoa Joe. Yeah, we're going to go with Samoa Joe. Why? I'm not too sure, but we're picking Samoa Joe. Smackdown pick Tyler Bate, round 12. We've got 221,000 left. Right, we are getting down to the bare bones now. Can we get one more pick? Potentially a woman, maybe, to try and fill out the roster. Um, there's Lana. I know she's gone. There's Tony Brook. There's Dana Stork. Tony Brook's gone as well. Billy Kay, Natalia, uh, Raquel Gonzalez. Uh, she would work well. She has a heel. She would work well against cruisers. I think they pick. Oh, they pick her. I don't know. Um, I'm considering it, guys. I'm. There's Joaquin Wild. No idea who that is. A Dafari. I've essentially got one more pick. I've essentially got one more pick. I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Raquel Gonzalez. There you go. Boom. She's getting. No, I don't even know who she is, but she's getting drafted to Raw. So boom. There she goes. Smackdown are picking the Brian Kendrick. We've got 91,000 left. That pretty much leaves us with the option of signing nobody. Unless we want to go with Joe, Joe Quinn Wilde, who I have no idea who that is. 
So I think at this stage we are going to end the draft. We're going to we're happy with our selection. Then you can see Sonia Deville. That is the roster that she has selected. Uh, you got Brock Lesnar in there. You've got Seth Rollins. You've got Randy Orton, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Sami Zayn, Angel Fury. In my opinion, it's a pretty solid roster. I'd say it's definitely better than the SmackDown roster. SmackDown continued to select away. They went with Ivar. They went with Trent Stephen. They're definitely going for numbers. They're, they're picking like the lower ranked guys. And I mean, but look at that. I mean, Jesus Christ, who are some of these people in the back? Who's that guy behind John Cena? I mean, who the fuck's the guy standing next to Pierce on the right? Um, and this, look at that jabroni looking like a fucking predator beside Mandy Rose. Looks like he wants, he wants to take a big chunk out of Mandy Rose's ass. Who the fuck is that guy? I've no idea, but there you go. That's Adam Pierce's Smackdown. God help that show. It's going to need all the help it can get. But there is the rosters. Raw and Smackdown. And boom. Should be... Should be good guys, I'm looking forward to getting into this GM mode. So let's see what we have here up next. Buffalo, New York, week one. We're four weeks away until WrestleMania. Unread messages, Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce, who sent his message first? Will we read Triple H's or will we read Pierce's? We'll read Adam P hey, hey DeFell, I just wanted to let you know that I plan on taking SmackDown to the top of the power rankings and staying there. Can we reply to him or? I have a roster and show sure running capabilities to do it. I don't think Raw stands a chance. You really think you can contend with us when we have superstars like Asuka? No one is ready for Asuka. <laughs> well, tell you what, guys. Raw is ready for Asuka. Adam Pearce, though, having his fun. Uh, can we not even reply? Can we reply? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, tonight, Triple H, tonight is the night. The debut show. We have high hopes for you. I've also high hopes for myself. Uh, we can reply with, I was born for this. I'll try not to let you down. I was born for this. You tell him, Sonya. Hey, Sonya and Triple H could be related. With well, that fucking nose, that sledgehammer-like nose. I think these two could maybe be brothers and sisters, to be fair. Triple H says, good. I'm expecting big things of Raw this season. Make it an amazing show. I am the game. Make sure you bury SmackDown. <laughs> All right, here we go. We need to select our champions. And I, I, you know who I'm going to pick. I, I kind of selected the roster based on who the champions were in real life. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Men's champion, Brock Lesnar. He receives 10 plus in the popularity. That takes the popularity up to 76 now. He is by far the most popular uh, wrestler now on our roster. And we will be making sure that uh, he wrestles week in, week out. Because, I mean, we just need him to. He 100% needs to be wrestling week in, week out. What I've just noticed is, I have selected, out of the 8 re men, male wrestlers, I've selected 6 heels and only 2 faces. So, boom, that ain't very good. I think maybe, I think maybe my first, I don't know, Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe perhaps. It might have to be Samoa Joe. It's either Samoa Joe or Damien Priest. And the Raw Women's Champion. Oh my God, I've only selected one heel. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I thought I'd selected at least another heel there, but I haven't. The only heel I've got is Raquel Gonzalez. So a bit of a botch there for me. But obviously the Raw Women's Champion is going to be Becky Lynch. That takes her up to 72. That means the only 72 uh, rated above 72 rated people we have on the roster are both champions, Brock Lesnar and Becky Lynch. So now we're in the GM hub. Uh, Drew Gulak is shouting here, telling us exactly what to do. So we've got the slots here for the show. You've got your opener match. You've got your mid-card match. You've got your main event match. And you have two promo slots. Slow show logistics. Apparently we're in a high school arena gym. What the fuck? We need to wrestle in a gym for two weeks? Seriously? Oh my god, why? why? We're, we're Monday Night Raw. We should be starting off at the big time, not wrestling in a high school gym. Maybe NXT UK can do high school gyms, but not Monday Night Raw, man. That's terrible. Uh, road crew, it looks like you can, uh, can't unlock any of this stuff right now. So, doesn't appear to be any point looking at it. Uh, can we manage our roster? Signing free agents, signing legends. We'll probably put off on the legends for now. I don't even think we could have enough. To... Oh, wait, you can actually sign him for just a number of weeks. So you can sign, like, Goldberg, for example, which is uh, pretty realistic since Goldberg. <laughs> five weeks, maybe try two weeks. Goldberg ain't turning up for five weeks. But, yeah, you can sign a bunch of legends here. Uh, I'm actually probably going to avoid doing that right now. But what about free agents? What about free agents here? So you got the 10... There's some you can sign for 10 weeks. 
there is some you can sign permanently. What if we look at women? Since Nova Northern Light <laughs> must be a made up wrestler for sure. Mr. Higglesby, what the fuck is this? Mr. Higglesby, this is insane. So this is a free agent roster. We've got Maya Yim's a possibility at 52 popularity. It's not exactly great. Uh, Akira Tosawa. We may actually hire a, heat, a face guy. We could sign Ricochet for five weeks. So there is options here. There is options to sign free agents. You can get this guy. It looks like a lumberjack for 30 grand on a permanent basis. Don't know. Do we want him? We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on these free agents. What's our roster looking like? Let's have a quick look at it. Boom. There it is there. It's looking no bad in my opinion. Draft order. So that's the, that's the order that we drafted it in. Stamina. Roll. What's the roll? I'm not too sure. Class, popularity. So yeah, there you go. The top two, obviously, Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch. They will be plastered all over the show. I've got power cards. I'm not too sure what this stuff is, but I don't think we need to purchase any of it right now. Uh, ratings, we're currently joint. Well, actually, no. It looks like we're ahead of SmackDown because we're ahead based on the fact we've got a bit more money. I'm assuming that's how it works. But there you go. Sonya DeFille's Raw is currently better than Adam Pierce's SmackDown. And Triple H is waiting to see how the first show gets on. And so are we, guys. So are we. So tune in to the next episode. Tune in to episode two to see how we get on in our first week. Can we book a good show? Can we defeat SmackDown? And can we please our brother, Triple H, who's got a big nose just like us? That's it, guys, for the WWE. WWE 2K, 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 22. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that. I, I keep, it's, it's weird because we don't have 2K21, so... I have to, you have to skip a year, but here, I'll get used to it, guys. I'll get used to it. That's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video, and I will catch you next time with more GM Mode. But until then, thanks for watching, and peace.